You didn't say anything offensive about God there, but you might have in the past, like when you said the Lord's Prayer at, at Sunday Mass. As you <laughs> may or may not know, it's now offensive um, to say our Father. That mm-hmm. That is getting targeted by the woke Church of England. The Church of England um, is now saying the opening of the Lord's Prayer is problematic and here's the here's the full statement. Okay, it's because of the words "Our Father." Archbishop of York Stephen Cottrell told the General Synod, the legislating and ruling body of the Church of England, that referring to God as Father might be offensive to some people because of the negative connotations of wait for it, patriarchy. Quote: I know the word Father is problematic for those who experience whose experience of earthly fathers has been destructive and abusive. And for all of us who have labored rather too much from an oppressively patriarchal grip on life. This is according to The Guardian. Um, then he went on to say, oh no, then, then they went on to report in this, in this piece, currently, Michael, the Church of England is looking at using gender neutral pronouns for God. <laughs> we can no longer say he or father uh, instead of the masculine pronouns used in the Bible. The Bible had it wrong, and it's offensive because patriarchy. What do you make of it? We have to respect everybody's preferred pronouns, except for God's, apparently. He, he's the <laughs> one person, three three persons in one divine unity, whose pronouns we don't have to respect, according to the Church of England, which, which has a, a sort of logic to it in that the Church of England is a uh, woke social club that identifies yeah. as a church. So <laughs> no surprise here that they see a chasm between reality and identity. The, the other irony on top of this is that we have many wonderful prayers that have come down to us from antiquity, from the earliest days of the church. Hail Mary, glory be, there's so many wonderful prayers. And uh, there's one prayer, there is one prayer that Jesus Christ gives us directly and explicitly in the Bible, and it is the Lord's Prayer, that's the one they want to change. If that doesn't tell you everything about some modern eccentric religious sects, I don't know what will. There's a great line, comes from the 20th century, and it's variously associated to lots of figures all associated with Fulton Sheen, and it's that if you marry yourself to the spirit of the age, you will find yourself a widow in the next. Mm. 